Okay. This was um, this was good fun. I enjoyed having uh, you know the different people we had on stage. Before we take a well-deserved dinner break, um, here is what I would like to do. We talked about uh, different uh, players. Um, there's one player we didn't talk about. Uh, your fragrance agent, the one who does everything from A to Z. There's Jinkit. They don't call themselves a uh, fragrance agent, but um, there are agents out there. And if you've been with us from the uh, early days, um, and I don't know how agents with uh, fragrance agents would describe themselves, but uh, there is the. Uh, Esther Group. I would like to call um, Etienne Kandel to join me on stage. He's the founder of Esther. No, we're not an agency. But in fact, I'm here to talk about the possibility of developing. Okay, so I'm going to tell you about the possibility of developing. Um, uh, Frogans agents uh, to, to tell you a little bit about my experience working with Esther. The reason why I think the word uh, agency, the word agency, is appropriate uh, because they they have experts expertise. Uh, first of all, I work for Celsa, where I do research. Um, I provide digital training. Most of my students uh, end up being consultants, digital planners, web project managers, um, you know, jobs that you all know very well. And many of them work in agencies. When I developed Esther, we tried to take an interdisciplinary approach with experts in design, Law, research. We don't have all the historical members. We've had a lot of new members as well. Um, and we are interested in experimenting. There was little experimenting going on with Frogans. And um, we have an interest in observing what's happening out there on the market. And of course, we want to contribute to OP3FT. And this is how we were able to, you know, make some suggestions, and we're still making suggestions today. So, an, an interesting uh, moment was when we talked about uh, media genie. Um, what usages are more relevant, make more sense when you think about Frogans? Of course, we had to look at the, the properties of uh, Frogans technology. Some of the properties you all know, it's dynamic, graphic design or graphic capabilities, uh, security um, or the control you have over your site, the fact they're very light and so on. So we did, we did um, some mock-ups. We did a mock-up work, which uh, you will see, uh, you can see in the previous conferences where we spoke. The mock-ups we made are, you know, inspired by actual, real-life cases, uh, and. Uh, when you work with agencies, there you have customers. Agencies have customers, and then consultants, consultants um, who are agents. And if you you may or may not be familiar with uh, how agencies um, work and operate, um, an agency has strategic thinkers. Uh, they think in terms of strategy, 
overall design of objects and operational people. Operational people are the ones who do the creative work, they're technical writers, and so on. And sometimes you have people in between project managers, web managers, uh, and they have a foot on each side. It's not very clear. So when you work with agencies, uh, you have the ones that are very analytical, they're big thinkers, they're very, very much into social things about people's lives and so on. And then they say, okay, this is the strategy. And in terms of design, what they do is uh, then they, 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 they submit this to the creative people. Évidemment, et c'est là qu'il y a quelque chose qui se transforme et qui est intéressant. Si on essaie de penser une agence Frogans, alors une agence peut être composée d'une seule personne. In an agency, you can have a person, one single person. Um, what would be the consequences? Um, practical consequences for consulting, for digital communication. Well, we found there were a lot of uh, interesting things when you think about Frogan's technology. We, first of all, started to uh, think about Frogan's sites as more than just sites. Um, more than objects. If you think about Frogan's objects, what's interesting is with the word object, all of a sudden you realize that you have so many opportunities, objects. With Frogan's, you get a lot of spectacular things, more and more spectacular things as we've seen earlier today. And we have the different properties that are not uh, used enough. We've seen, for example, that some sites can be dynamic. There have been some first attempts, and I'm sure there will be a lot more uh, to come. Then there security as well. Um, again, a lot of interesting things there. So with the notion of objects, you get more strategy. And uh, when you think in terms of st strategic terms, I think that strategic thinking uh, uh, can be completely revisited with Frogon's technology. If you, when you work in agencies, uh, your strategies have to be rapid, have to be quick, because what customers want is quick delivery. And uh, what people typically want is standard things. However, if you can have a, a radically different design from one site to another, um, well, all of a sudden, uh, the relevance of graphic design becomes much more significant. Therefore, you could, if you don't think about your strategy well enough, um, you could end up with very strange things. If you if you are a brand, you know you want consistency, and um, you can't discriminate between strategy and creation, creative work. We discussed this with Alexi Tamas. You can make a mock-up very quickly, and a mock-up can, uh, you know, become real very quickly. So you can talk with customers, clients. You can talk about the design, what it should it look like. Um, you can play with it, tweak it, and eventually come up with something uh, that's both uh, consistent strategically and that, at the same time, is... Um, is interesting from a creative standpoint. So, <laughs> it's really uh, reshuffling the cards for the different stakeholders, and eventually I think it's going to, it might change the way we, we communicate. If in the future we do get um, Frogan's agencies, it'll be interesting to see what models they use. Um, and there, there are a lot of traditions that influence the way agencies, creative agencies work. And I think that uh, with Frogan's technology, there could be a very new momentum um, in uh, strategic thinking. And that's what I wanted to share with you. It's a bit projective, and which is typically not what I do, but thank you for listening.